Welcome guys. So keep solving our physics subject GRE. So we start from 11. So 11 basically you have two uh, two mirrors. And the uh, uh, important thing is basically their uh, lens. So basically uh, lens and mirror are, are, s are somewhat different. So basically uh, the convention is that uh, uh, this is the lens. Uh, at, at the left hand side, this is positive, this is negative. Uh, no, 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 uh, this is positive, this is also positive. So let me, uh, so if, so this is P, this is Q. Okay, and then what we did is, the, uh, what we did is we just solve the, uh, solve the lens equation and uh, do the computation, okay. Okay, so the first one uh, is 1 over 40, 1 over x is 1 over 20, so x is 40. Okay, so that means, uh, that means from our cases, uh, this 40 will have 40. So this is the first image, and it should be here, okay. And now this is 10. So this is 30, this is 10. Uh, so important is that uh, when you are uh, behind, the, behind the lens and you want to use the formula, then you need to change change your distance to minus. Okay, so be, uh, remember that what I would say is that the, for the left-hand side, P larger than zero, and the right-hand side, P is less than zero. Uh, but for the right hand side, uh, Q is larger than zero, and uh, for the left hand side, Q is less than zero. So now uh, this one is P because we want to use the formula to compute the Q. So, so what we uh, what we uh, what this this image is uh, here. So we need to use a minus sign. So that's why I say the convention is much is <laughs> the important things in the in the optics. Otherwise, that you, all of you know the formula, but you cannot calculate anything. So what we get is this, so x is 5, this centimeters, and remember this is q, this is q, so q positive is here. Okay, so the answer is 5 centimeters to the right of the second lens, the an a answer is a, the answer is a. So let me say again, the sign convention are much more important, okay. And the 12, we, uh, what we ask is the mirror. Uh, so uh, what I want to say is that the uh, mirror convention. So uh, there is a formula. OK. Uh, so the mirror convention is basically uh, if lens is here, then p is larger than 0, and p is less than 0. But this one, q is larger than 0, uh, q is less than 0. Uh, because this is mirror, so it's different from lens. Okay. <coughs> okay, so basically your P plus Q with, with F, but now you can see your P is less than F. So that means Q is negative. So the only negative is behind the mirror. So the answer is V. The answer is 5, five, five. The answer is E, the answer is E. Okay. <laughs> okay, so 13. Uh, two stars are separated by the angles. So there you have a small angle. And uh, what what we need to do is use the Absher formula. Basically, this is the redness scattering. So theta is just 1.22 times lambda divided by d. So we have this. Okay, so uh, we can solve the diameters. Diameters. We can solve the diameters. Okay, how about, okay, so let me try to solve it. Okay, so D 
D is close to 600 times 10 to the 9 times 1.22 divided by this. So it's uh, 200 times this. So it's 2 times 10 to the net 12 at 1.22. So it's close to 2.44 times this. So uh, this is meters. So we can change it into centimeters. So 2.44 centimeters. So answer is B. Answer is B. Hope uh, my calculation is correct. Okay, so 14, uh, which is similar, basically you have a centimeter diameter accelerator the phone detector, detect gamma rays when source is placed just next to the detector, circular phase 50% emit gamma rays. Uh, if the detector is moved one meter away, the fraction of the gamma ray. Okay, so basically uh, everybody knows about the uh, intensity uh, proportional one over distance squares. So now you're you have just one meter away, then the and what you get is just mm, let me see. So okay, so one meter away, the particle enter just through a sphere radius one meters. So now a is just uh four pi r square. Basically, it's four pi. Now this is area, okay. So now uh, the the ratio of areas gives the fraction of detected gamma rays. So D over 16, basically D over 16, just A square uh, times 10 to the 4. So basically it's from this one, right? A centimeters times 10, 10 to the 4, basically 10 to the negative 2 square divided by 16. So get the uh, four times eight, uh, four times ten to a negative four. Uh, so this is answer. The uh, answer is C. Answer is C. Okay. So basically, you five class do the major height of buildings. Each class use a different method, and the data which you point uh, which class a more precise measurement. So precise means that the the width should be should be uh, the width should be smaller, right? The width should be smaller. So which one is which smaller? Answer is A. Okay. <laughs> okay, sixteen. Uh, basically, you have ten second measurements, and uh, you get these ten numbers. Uh, how long should student count its average rate of one uh, difference? Okay, so we find the average. So average is 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 two. Uh, so the standard deviation is square root of two. Uh, basically, this is Poisson distribution. Okay. Uh, so what it means one percent is basically is asking that the, the this is one over one hundred, and uh, because this is one percent, what what we want is this one. And then this will correspond into uh, square 2c divided by 2c. Uh, c is the count. Okay, so one can use this 1 over square root of 2c to solve it. Oh, we got c is uh, 5,000. 5,000. Okay, and uh, what uh, this is the answer. This is the answer. Uh, actually, uh, I think you need to remember this formula. This formula, otherwise, then you cannot solve it. Hmm. Okay. So seventeen, basically, uh, fifth. You just count how many are uh, fifteen. Uh, how to? So what well, you have two as two square. 2 is 3, 2 p 6, so already uh, have 10, uh, 3 is 2, 3 p 3. Okay, so this is the electron configuration. Okay, so which one uh, is the answer? Which one? Which one is the answer? So 
Sorry, answer is B. Answer is B. Okay, so 18 said the energy required to remove both the electron from helium and ground state. How much energy required to ionize helium? So basically, it's ionized. Uh, so remember that to remove both electrons from helium is this, right? But in order to ionize, means that the final will be like one uh, helium one and the ground state, and only one electron. So remember that uh, for the heat, for the hydrogen, what we have is this one over n square. So for the helium, for the hydrogen, like Aiden, we just times this square. So we should times four, and this is ground state. So this is uh, f uh, 52. Okay, so, uh, so that means your final energy, uh, if there's a helium and uh, the electrons in the ground state, then this is the, the uh, this is, this uh, electron has this minus five, uh, 52 EV. Okay. So you start from uh, negati uh, negative, negative, uh, 17, you just use 79 minus this 52. This is the ionization energy. So it's close to, uh, close to this one, close to this one. Okay, so the answer is A, the answer is A. Okay, so 19 says the, the primary source of the sun energy is a series of thermal clear reaction in which energy is produced C squared times the mass difference between Okay, so this is asking about the sun, the sun's results. Uh, this is about sun's results. So this is the common sense that uh, the sun's result corresponding to corresponding to the four hydrogen become a one helium. Uh, basically, you need to just remember. Uh, otherwise, there's no no way that you you know the answer. So this is the scientific like sense, right? Because uh, one helium atom have two proton and two neutron, and the four four hydrogen has four proton. So proton and neutrons, their 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 energy di uh, their mass are similar. So the answer is B. The answer is B. Okay, so 20 said uh, X-rays. Okay, so some every every time you go to a subject, you are always ask about X-rays. So X-rays energy are basically from the in the so electrons from the outer the outer shell of atoms and falls into the inner shell of atoms. This is the the reason why the X-ray and also X-ray uh, which is smooth and continuous. So the answer is E. Uh, smooth continuous X-ray produced by rapid deceleration uh, electrons in the target metal of X-ray two. Uh, basically, uh, this burn, uh, burn uh, this B, uh, this words means that uh, you try to deceleration, uh, deceleration electrons. So the so the answer uh, comes from E. Comes from E. Uh, B is okay. So so why I first say is B. Uh, B. Uh, the discrete X. The discrete X ray is just the fall into the inter atoms. But for the continuous X rays, we just deceleration the electrons. So there are two kind of mechanisms. The discrete is C and the continuous is E. But what he asking about is this B. Uh, Bremer strong refers to which of the uh, answer should be s answer should be E. Answer should be E. Actually, I actually I don't know how to pronounce it correctly okay so I apologize for if I didn't pronounce it correct okay thanks I will see you guys in the next video